guys, welcome back to my channel. Time for June favourites. Crazy, I know, we always say this, but it has to be done. Um, I'm gonna jump straight in because I've got quite a few favourites this month. Um, I'm gonna start off with this, just because it's the first thing I grabbed. Now this is totally gimmicky, this product. It looks like a little macaroon, and this is one of the, what do they actually call these? Sweet Pops, Sweet Pots Sugar Scrub and Lip Balm, and this is from Clinique, and this is in the colour Citron Blue. I tested a lot of the colours on my hands and they're all quite similar because they are just sheer balms but the idea with it is that the sides unscrew, this side is a little lip scrub, doesn't really smell of anything, it does have sugar, that's the ingredient that they use to exfoliate the nails, the nails, the lips, um, so it does leave them really soft and if you want to lick it off you can and then the other side is just a little lip balm. I've just really enjoyed this because I've worn some beautiful lip colours this month and I've just wanted to make sure that my lips have been really, really moisturised, really hydrated and at their best. And the scrub in this is really nice and gentle. It's a little bit more gentle than, say, the sugar scrub for your lips from Lush. Um, I do really love that one. Um, but this has just been my one of choice at the moment because I have this one and I must admit, look at the packaging. It is just um, so Body cute. lotion. Um, this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturising Lotion. This is the the green one, um, fragrance free. The green one is the fragrance free. The navy one is just the regular. Um, I've spoken to you about this before, and I'm still obsessed with it. This one is very nearly empty now. I just puffed it all up so that it looked nicer for the video. Um, I've been taking a lot of very, very long baths recently because my sciatica has been really bad. So I've been doing a lot of soaks and things like that. And my skin has just been really, really dry and this has literally saved it. Tiny little bit, this goes a very long way and it leaves my skin feeling really soft and really comfortable. Doesn't irritate me after I shave my legs, anything like that, it's absolutely amazing. Um, a fragrance favourite is this one and this is Bobbi Brown Beach. Um, I put this away at the end of last summer <sighs> and I've just brought it out again this summer. It does smell of the beach and not in that coconut way that you would imagine, like something like Bronze Goddess, which I also adore. It is more of that sun creamy, fresh sort of smell. It's a little bit more similar to the Tom Ford, oh, mind the camera, Harry, um, the Tom Ford Portofino something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the Portofino one from Tom Ford. It's got more of that sort of a fragrance to it. Very clean, very fresh, and I've really, really enjoyed going back to this this month. Even though it is technically summer it is grey and wet and rain it's horrible out there today it's literally so grey and it's raining it is literally horrific um so this is me trying to make um, it summer. myself tanner and i spoke to you about this in my haul recently and i was sent this however i have really really enjoyed it i can't wait to put this on tonight um, i'm all scrubbed down to bare skin and I'm going to put it on tonight and then I'm going to put it on on Friday because I'm going out the weekend to a wedding and I want to be nice and sunkissed. And this is the, oh, aptly named, Sunkissed Bronze Professional Self Tanning Mousse in Medium. And this is for once a week and I do find that it lasts me through a week. I don't have the same colour at the end of the week as I do at the beginning, obviously, but it fades really nicely. It fades more like a real tan. Harry, careful. Um, it fades more like a real tan, which I personally really enjoy. It doesn't go patchy on the arms, um, legs, anything like that. It just wears really, really prettily. Um, because it's the medium and I like a little bit darker colour, I can layer it. It doesn't go too dark too quickly, but it's got a really nice golden colour to it as well when you wear it. So I shall put this on. Harry, careful. I shall put this in. Sorry, he's literally decided to lay right in the middle of the tripod legs. Um, I shall put this on in the morning before I go to work and it will literally look perfect. It won't look streaky, it won't look that greeny tone, which I personally normally like, but it will just have a really nice golden colour to it. So I've really, really enjoyed this. Um, it has a really nice coconut fragrance to it as well. It obviously does have that self tan smell, but the coconut makes it less obvious if that makes sense and so yeah I've really really enjoyed I've this. I've got one skincare favourite and this is actually a new packet because I've got my other packet in the bathroom and these were easier to reach. Um, these are the simple micellar cleansing wipes. Now you know I am a massive massive anti-wipe on the face person um, mainly because they've always broken me out, they've made my skin dry, um, they make my skin more oily, all that kind of stuff. These are literally insane, they are the bomb. Um, I saw them originally on Fleur de Force's 
empties I think or coming soon or something like that and I must admit I have been so impressed with them one wipe will get all of my makeup off including my mascara and I wear a lot of eye makeup so for me that is literally incredible so what I tend to do is I do just go over get rid of all my makeup and then I go in with my Garnier micellar water over the top just to make sure my skin's really clear and really clean um I don't use them every day but I did go for a whole week of using them because when my nan was poorly I used them when she was in hospital because they were quick and easy and it was late nights and all that kind of stuff. They didn't break me out, they were literally incredible so I'm really really enjoying these. As I mentioned I do do a second cleanse but I've had no problem with these. I think because they are the micellar water they're a bit more gentle on my skin so okay, moving those. on to my next products. Um, I have literally been obsessed with highlighters glowing, being radiant, shiny. I've wanted to glow like the top of the Empire State Building this month. And a couple of products that I've really been enjoying. I've got two from Smashbox. The first one is my primer water. As you know, I'm obsessed with this. It keeps my combination oily but dehydrated skin at bay. I actually spritz this on my skin now before I apply my nighttime moisturiser as well. And I find that it just works even better. Um, and then I spritz it before I apply my light primer and then when I finish my makeup and then throughout the day to refresh and I found that it just gives me a really nice radiance to my skin but without looking shiny or the wrong type of glowy like looking oily shiny um, also with this what I like to do is spritz it on my um, fan brush and then dip in the powder and then buff it on and you will literally glow like there is no tomorrow so I've been obsessed with that. And then this is a little baby. Um, this is the Luminizing Primer from Smashbox. Now this is a little baby one because I don't use this all the time. Um, it is oil free, but I actually use it on top of my um, foundation. So I do it as part of my highlighting routine. So I'll put this on and then powder on top or something like that. It's just got a really, really pretty, it's the only Smashbox color Smashbox primer that's actually got like colour to it that you're meant to see. It's just a very, very light bronze, and you can see it blends out and it just gives an amazing gold glow to the skin. So you can use this like a regular primer and you would just apply it underneath your foundation, or you can do what I do, which is I actually put it on top, just on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, when I want more of that bronzy, beachy sort of look. So I've been obsessed with this and reached for it so much this month. And then the last three things I have to show you are all the same thing, but just in varying colours. Um, these are the Laura Geller Baked G Gelato, Gelato, Gelato? Gelato, that's the word, I couldn't get it right. Um, gelato highlighters from Laura Geller, I think I already said that. I have three, I've shared two with you already, which is Gilded Honey and Ballerina. So as you can see, this one's more of your traditional gold and this one's more like a rose gold. Well, I did actually pick up one of the new colours which I shared on my Instagram, which is mariasparkle19 if you want to follow me. Um, and it's this one here. And it is just the most perfect peach. I'm actually wearing, what have I got on today? I've got on the, pe uh, what do they call it? Peach Glow over. And then I've got a tiny little bit of Gilded Honey just at the back because I wanted a bit more oomph today. I then do also have a luminous bronzer on as well. Uh, blush on as well but I really wanted that real glow today and even though the light's really bad even though I can see it in the camera you can really see it these are just beautiful they're really pigmented they feel really really creamy and they just blend so so beautifully you can see there the gorgeous glow that they've got and over the top of the luminizing primer literally match made in heaven so i've been obsessed with these. this was my june favorites i really really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it's not too dark um thank you so so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you did um please leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorites have been if you've tried any of these what you think of them and all that kind of stuff anyway i really really hope that you have an amazing day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all soon take care bye Mwah.